Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fun 4 Kaiser Australia. Let Australasia. Welcome back. So, we have sent volunteers to Spain. One of them did die. Uh, that is entirely my fault, and I apologize to all the uh, all the families hurt by my actions. Okay, let's go take Zaragoza. American Civil War. I'm, I don't know if we really want to back any side in particular. At least until we know what the Canadians are going to do, right? Because we end up, you know, supporting MacArthur, and then the Canadians back, say, the Pacific States, then we're wasting our time. If So, I mean, usually Canada will back either PSA or the American Union, or, or the uh, MacArthur's government. I don't think they ever support the American Union state. Bare I think maybe if they go with the Democratic, but even, even then, I don't know if they actually do anything crazy like that. Are you dead yet? Wrong low. You're probably gonna be dead soon. And you're still on high. Now here's the thing, I wanna make sure we don't lose another whole unit in uh in Spain, because getting two units encircled and killed off would be just fucking embarrassing for me. So we've gotta do something different. Okay, why isn't the Entente? What's your what's your what are you thinking, my dude? You should go to Seville. It's a major Spanish city. I'm sure you'll have friends there. You should go and hang out, okay? You know what? Actually, get, spending 75 political power on 5% war support. It probably actually is okay. I mean, a war support is fucking garbage. It's so bad right now. Also, I do see uh, that we are open to encirclement at the moment. Full position, fall back. I need you to be out of here. Okay. We didn't get encircled. Everybody cheer. <laughs> Whoopee! We didn't die! We did it! Revolutionaries in Switzerland! That sounds bad for me! Yeah, okay, so Switzerland is now in the um, French sphere, which is pretty bad. Bad. Because obviously, we're, we're anti-France, right? We're anti-France. And Switzerland being in the uh, French sphere gives them a very strong position against the Germans. Now, if they um, if they also get the Dutch, we, it might already be game over, to be quite honest with you. But we'll, we'll wait and see on that one. Okay, Iron Man's attempts, Asmania... Yeah, it's, it's only four steel. It's kind of garbage. Okay, so it looks like the Canadians have backed MacArthur. So we could send some troops there. A nationalist in the Netherlands? That's good news for me. Do I send volunteers to MacArthur? Max volunteer limits, plus two. So we can send three because we're also backing you. So let's send three divisions. Um, we'll go with a, uh, a two, four, four, three. And we'll send you over to MacArthur. You guys, just go have fun. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes for you. Okay, you're getting kind of bullied right now. Can you get less bullied? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want you to get bullied for no reason. Like, it's... It's just a shame. Okay, yeah, let's just... Let's reach this build you. you. Go, uh, fast tank development. Thank you very much. But five factions on you at the moment. We can cut two off of you for now. Where's my cavalry? You are getting your fucking shit kicked in. I mean, that's not uh, positive. I would say. But I think the king is going to get killed off soon. That allows our forces to maybe reposition themselves in a better spot. Potentially. Like, you're already so weak. And again, our manpower is so bad. Let's actually focus on maybe killing the American Union State first. 
With the lifting of martial law across Australasia, the crowds are once again able to assemble. A fact that Syndicus leader Fred P Patterson took advantage of today in Sydney, he gave a speech that drew a very large crowd as well as media attention. Patterson spoke of the need for an open dialogue between the unions and the government, and that there was no need to fear a brand of democracy that syndicalism brought. The speech was branded by some as the ramblings of radical, though many others uh, said that Patterson's well-spoken manner earned him many new supporters. Okay, so we want to go, do we want to trade in the Commonwealth or trade outside of the Commonwealth? I guess America, Japan, Germany. I guess we'll go outside as well. I mean, Canada's not extremely rich. The French Republic, I, I can't imagine they have too much money either. So this seems fine for us to trade with other countries. Like Brazil? Brazil's nice. Mexico, did you go national populist? I think you did because of Yucatan. Yes. Which is unfortunate because, of course, the UK, um, um, sorry. Because National Populist Mexico kind of just does its own thing. We don't really have any influence over it whatsoever. Which is a shame. What do I even do with you guys, man? Elite orders... Okay, move you here for now? Obviously, if we can kill the CSA, that's the best, um... The best position for us to be in. Because, of course, we don't like... We don't like the CSA. And, like, if you push here, move our way towards Pittsburgh. We might have something going on there. You know what I mean? There might be something cool and good. Okay, the vote there has failed. Somehow, the rising sun, Japan, like, just mind your own business, okay? Don't do anything against my interest. Okay, so you've now officially at least paid for yourself. You saved us 150 political power. We well, cost 150, and you've saved us 150. So you're at net zero. So we need to get some more bonuses out of you. Like, if we were to replace you... Now again, I know it says 100, but I believe it actually is 150. Because it takes away his bonus and then applies their bonus. Which charges us the full 150 price. So we only need 100 political power. We can go into P uh, political power debt for one of these guys in the future. Um, however... It still costs us 150. I'm like 99% sure that's the case. Like 99%. I probably actually, you know what? If we just have you guys on like a fallback plan. Okay, Japan to become the ambassador there. That seems like l not great. Because we'll probably see the uh, legation cities go pro Japan, which we don't want to see. Let's go with a basic engine on you. You can maybe make our tanks a little bit better. Wait, is there anywhere? I mean, I can probably send you um, here afterwards. Well, we we're going to get killed off in a second. Goodbye. I mean, it's good to make the United States losing troops. I think we don't want them, obviously, to... Uh, to do anything. And it looks like, okay, the Kingdom of Spain is officially dead. 15 to 44 versus 16 to 32. I will say the numbers aren't great. <laughs> okay, let's end the depression here. It's not great for us. What about theorists? Land Doctrine costs, Spear of Firepower, that's what we're taking. To give us a 50% uh, discount on that bad boy, happy to see it. Okay, at least a clear war on Venice. That is more than okay. 
What are you guys even up to down here? It's a lot of CS, um, CNT troops. Seems like they have pretty low supplies. What are your numbers at? You're at high, we are at waning. Which is not ideal. I'm assuming it's because, like, they've taken over some of these areas. So I think you immediately are at core, right? Yeah, so it's actually kind of funny. By killing the kingdom, it actually puts the Carlos in a worse position. Which I think is very, very funny. Whereas if the C if CNT did most of the work and it's in the same um, positions, they would actually be worse off. I don't know how he would even would f how he would actually fix that. I'm just gonna you know you just go defend Burgos for now. I don't know where else to put you. Okay, we'll have you guys defend your way in northern New York. I mean, you're doing very very well against the CS, um, the American Union state. I will give you that. I want to. There's so many options, man. Like, it's like, it makes sense for us to want to defend up here because it looks like the, uh, the AI is just not putting many units on this front. However, putting pressure in, like, there's nobody even here. Okay, you know what? Delete this again. Fallback line here. You figure out how to fucking get over here, okay? So trade missions, what do you actually get for this? 25 political power and we just politely ask them to be friends. Well, let's send one to Russia because, hey, we're not, we're never going to be at war with Russia, right? It's just not going to happen. So it would make sense to send them some overtures being like, hey, buddy, Russia, we're good friends. It makes sense. Um, you can't Christian plebiscite. You don't matter. We don't care. Oh, can I actually not improve you until we do the plebiscite? Okay, okay. There are some countries that do have that modifier. I know Canada is one of them. That's why there's the Quebec crisis. You are all 39 tax. A little bit too expensive for me. 38. It's September, but you know what? Fuck it. We'll do it. Let's get that bad boy going. Oh, our units are already here. Fantastic. Okay, you need to go to Tallahassee. One of you move your way towards, um, into Florida. Party commies are playing war. Preparing for war. This is for India against a princely federation. Or against a party commune. I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, we can take Florida. Let's take Tallahassee. Does the American Union say, do you just, like, not, like, no offense, do you just, like, not have soldiers? <laughs> are they just, like, nowhere to be seen? Okay, let's move here. Take Miami. Move you in this direction, please. I just want to make sure we don't get ourselves encircled. Yeah, 50 political power. You always want to do the maximum. I, I EDC, they're very, very good bonuses. I don't think there's ever a time when you're like, no, I don't want to invest in the IEDC. Unless I, maybe if you're doing like a very specific thing, then maybe. Also, this is always the best one. I don't know. I don't know why you'd ever take a different one. Death of David Murray Anderson. Today, all flags within Sydney are flown at half mast after a sudden death of Sir David Murray Anderson. Sir Anderson, currently sitting governor of New South Wales, is most famously known for successful evacuation of the British colonies in the East Indies, saving thousands of lives as well as for a large portion of the British Pacific Fleet. While Sir Anderson has been ill for some time, leaving Sir Philip Street to fill in for his public appearances, he has been vocal in supporting the Australasian Guard as the only uh, right-thinking man in Austra Australasia who would be capable of enacting his plans to retake these Indies. His death has only further built support for the far uh, for the right-wing movement. I mean, we're doing we're doing good work here. Take Miami. Um, let's go for a military factory. Taking Miami, which basically means that you're now cleaned up. We go to Montgomery. I think it makes sense. Where's Atlanta? Atlanta's right here. Because if we can kill the American Union state, I think that'll give MacArthur a better chance against the um against the CSA. God, we need more manpower. <laughs> it's, it's an issue for us. 
because we, we just cannot reinforce our units. And I'm kind of, I'm honestly, I'm thinking like, do we just like leave Spain? I think the answer is yes. I think we just leave Spain. I'm not gonna be able to do too much there. I think we're just wasting our time. Let's go 38 um, weapons here. Did we take, is this Montgomery? Okay, you are in Montgomery now. Let's move our way towards Atlanta. Are you, you're this province, okay. Yeah, we got fuel refining done. And what are you? Not unlock any bonuses. Okay, so it, it, it's basically just you. You actually got pushed out of this province. That's a little sad, but that's okay. We can push here. The depression is officially ended. That is four military factories and four... No, that's... That's eight military factories, eight civilian factories. Holy shit. And like 15 infrastructure. That is not bad at all. Stability would be nice. Um, I guess we would probably suppress the Syndicalist if it was up to me on this situation. Let's get some more military factories. Are you currently... You're probably... You're actually not currently pushing against anybody, unfortunately. And of course, all of our Entente allies... Presumably have kind of fucked off to go deal with this situation. Yeah, you're at war with uh, the Entente. I'm not, again, I'm not joining the war against Party Commune. Like, I understand it might make sense to some, but it does not make sense to me at the moment. By the way, did any of you get manpower? A few thousand? The answer is basically no. Okay, Lance has fallen. Bring you down here. American Union State, what are your, um, how close are you to getting killed off? You are at 72? Okay, I mean, you're, you're still doing all right. I mean, I would say MacArthur, he's doing a bang-up job. And again, we have to be very, very careful. We, we, we cannot take heavy casualties under any circumstance. Because we don't have manpower. We don't have troops in the field. And what do we need to do to uh, get rid of you? At War with Major Power, we need to modernize artillery, relics of the Villa Creek, and do the Clarify and uh, the Anzac. Which is... You four focuses. So you probably want to get down there. But at the same time... No, we need to build up an army. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of like non-negotiable, actually. But then also getting into so many, like all these factories. Oh, there, there's so many choices. There's so many choices. How do I say no to any of them? Okay, Mongolia's at war. You know what, Mongolia? You do you, man. You do you. You're doing relatively okay. Carlos are gonna lose. Did they like give CNT like a buff recently, or are they just like um, or were they just like f f really strong for some reason? I feel like they've won like every campaign recently. It feels like CNT has just done very, very, very well for themselves. And I don't even I don't even know what it is exactly that they have done. It, it but it just seems good. Seems like they're living their best life. Okay, you're at 73. No units coming. 14,000 rifles. Like, we have... We have the equipment. It's just kind of everything else around the equipment we don't have at the moment. Are we even building trucks? We are not. We probably should get some going. Is there anything we want to get rid of? I guess we can go, like, down two on this. Works out relatively okay. And for our factories, we'll just keep building them here. 80% is looking good. Another factory in South, um... South Island looks good as well. 100 political power! Holy shit! They say yes, we're popping off. Okay, let's trade with MacArthur. 
Market liberalism, more support for us. 150 political power. Now, again, that does give us a little stability boost. As well as a little bit of a political power gain as well. But you can also look at this and mean like, well, what else are we really going to spend the political power on? Not too much at the moment. Because world tension is not that high. Our war support is not very high either. If we had 70, um, if we had, um, 2% more war support, we could go partial mobilization. But unfortunately, that is just not an option available to us at this exact moment in time. But I will say, at least for right now, I think this will be a good time for us to end off this episode. So if you enjoyed, with the thumbs up. Now, Joe, you're going to down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.